Thanks again for having me over, darling. Why are you looking at me like that? You know exactly what you're getting into by clicking on this video. So Camilla, Cow Milla, what's the connection here? Is it just simply an insult to throw at others who like Fire Emblem Fates characters when you don't? Does it have to do with Camilla's body type or curves? Or is there another connection? Let's find out. Today we're going to delve a little bit further into the situation and see exactly where this originates from. But first, before we get into that, let's play a little game. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you don't already know the answer to this question, and let's see if you can guess the correct reason why people would refer to Camilla as Cow Milla. And we'll see at the end of the video if you were actually correct or not. But let's dive into this. Just tell me who I need to kill to make you happy, sweetie. I don't know what I'd do without you. The connection between Camilla and cows goes deeper than merely the fact that she's well endowed, as there are other equally well endowed characters, some arguably even more so and they've had little to no connection with cows, nor do fans call them cows in general. Curious as to how the term Cowmilla came about, I began my search. A few moments later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh? huh? <laughs> it's the crown. It's the crown and her udders. That's what it is. Thanks to the Tumblr blog located at jokerthebutler.tumblr.com, we have just about the oldest use of the phrase that I managed to find online, dating back to December 19th, 2015, a full five-ish months out from the launch of the game in Japan on June 25th. Those of us in the West and other parts of the world wouldn't receive the game and be introduced to the character officially until February 19th, 2016 and May 20th, 2016 respectively for those in Europe. The blog also provided a snippet of information taken from a Japanese exclusive anniversary book titled the Making of Fire Emblem, 25th Anniversary Development Secrets, Awakening and Fates. On page 152, in a segment of the book discussing the Norian siblings' designs, Mai Kazakihara, formerly Watanabe, who is the art director for Fire Emblem Fates, and Yusuke Kozaki, the character designer for Fire Emblem Awakening and Fates, exclaimed, Camilla's crown is kinda cow-like, isn't it? I feel that it'd be nice if it looked like animals' ears, a bit like horns, that kind of image. In combination with her big breasts, I thought that she's probably designed with an image of Holstein. I never thought of that. Then, I wonder if I should have made her cloak with a cow spot pattern as well. That's just going too far, isn't it? So Kozaki definitely intended for the horns on her crown to give off an animal type of vibe, but it seems that cow ears in particular were not exactly his intention, though there are some similarities if you place them side by side. Thankfully, if you look close enough, the horns are made of spikes and not just straight up cow ears planted on her head. I'm sure what also helped fans to establish the connection between Camilla and cows was the fact that cows and their milk are pretty universally accepted symbols for nursing offspring, and Camilla is a very doting older sibling character who almost suffocatingly cares for and attempts to nurture Corrin and the other Norian siblings. So mystery solved. It's simply a fan creation, derived from a few details of her character design, and it quickly grew to become a phrase that's commonly used in a mocking manner to describe her in a negative light. Though I will say that people who claim that she's only, well, her physical features, and that there's no actual character to her, are pretty ignorant and clearly haven't been paying attention to her supports. If you're interested in hearing a more in-depth analysis on the subject, you can check out Gas's Camilla Support Science video by clicking here, or visiting the description below. So, at the end of the day, if you don't like her, I'll take her. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. And also make sure that you get subscribed and click the little notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. As always, a big shout out to all of our awesome patrons who go the extra mile to support the channel and the content that we produce, and also get some cool rewards and incentives too. So check out our Patreon page here. You can also join us on our public Discord server for even further discussion, and make sure to follow us on Twitter at Lucky Creek Gaming for any news and updates revealed on the fly. And I'll see you all next time. I try to keep Corrin within arm's reach at all times. No farther, preferably, than this. Uh, all right. I, I don't need a demonstration. Oh, how adorable you are with flushed skin. Does my nearness bother you?